Hello guys, welcome back to Game Check Unblocks. Today we're going to be reviewing the M5 Stick C Plus 2. This is a development module by M5 Stack, RF module, RF module, IR receiver. We're all going to be testing these to a tutorial on how to use them and how to wire them. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so let's start off with the M5 module. Let's first unbox it. Here it is. I've already pre-installed it with uh, Bruce 1.9.1. Here we are. Here we have the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, RF, RFID, IR, FM radio, BIOS for little FS and SD cards, a GPS, and then NRF24. Here's just JavaScript, a console clock tune. Let's start off with the RF module. I have already pre added the wires for the RF module. This module is a CC1101. It's basically found on Amazon. And as you can see, I also used a groove connector or HY 2.0 uh, four pin connector instead of the wiring it directly into the thing because you need to be able to connect on this side and on this side. You would need to find diagrams online. Make sure you color coordinate them to what you use. So as you can see, I put red with three volt and then I put the black with the ground. And then as you can see, I can go from go from red to orange to green to blue. So I kind of color or coordinate them where, to, where, where I don't need um, a diagram in order to wire it together, which is much more simpler and easier to switch through NRF and just standard RF. And then also for the groove connector, stick it in there. There you go. You also need an antenna and have an antenna. So there you go. You're all set for the RF modules. Now, let's test out the RF. Come up over here, you can start to the RF. Let's go to the spectrum. This is where you will see whatever it detects from the RF module. So I have RF remote right here. So I'm gonna click the light button. You can see how it reads it. There you go, that's how you know that it's actually physically working. Now let's go to scanned copy. This thing is a 433.92 megahertz uh, RF transmitter. So I'm gonna be able to duplicate it. Just, as you can see, one signal captured. That's what you wanna be able to see. And you can see how it says replay. If I click replay, you can see how, oh, you can also replay it as raw. And you can see right there, how it's actually controlling my fan right now. So now this is how you use the RF module. You can also run sub gigahertz radio frequencies and you can like open up different types of Hampton Bay fans, different types of LED lights. You can all control with this little module once you download like the proper file. You can find them on like GitHub, you can find them on all these things. So it's a built-in jammer, built in with Bruce. Now it is legal in America to do this unless it's your personal devices because it can interrupt with communication services, especially on like airplanes, you don't want to be doing this. So we're not going to be testing it in this video for RF because of how really risky to do that. You, you, like, you don't know what you're playing with. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but you can still do it if you have like one of these things you just want to try it out. So now that we finished the RF module, we're going to start with the NRF24 module. This module is the NRF24 L01. This thing is 2.4 gigahertz. This thing can also do jamming with like Wi-Fi signals and Bluetooth. I'll show you guys that later. To connect it is the same way of what I did before. Now, when you connect the NRF module, you want to turn off the M5 stick and then turn it back on. There you go. Now let's play around with the NRF. Here's the spectrum. You can see the spectrum of NRF signals it's receiving. And this thing is for 2.4 gigahertz. So that means that you can visually see on the spectrum whenever you do like an internet speed test. If you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz internet and do a speed test, you can see how one of these bars starts to lift up and it's like starting to increase. There's also the NRF jammer. This thing can jam Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and video signals and like RC controllers. This thing is where you can configure pins. Basically just NRF24 legacy, plug it into the same way, you're all good. I'm gonna link some wiring diagrams for the NRF24 and for the CC1101. So now that we're done with the NRF24, let's scooch over to the IR receiver and emitting IR signals. 
Now let's go to EIR, TV Be Gone, where you can turn off TVs in like stores or at your home. There's also custom IR where you can download IR files. And you can see there's like Samsung, Smartboard, all these have all the different brands you can download, like universal off buttons. And then also most importantly, IR read. You can take one of the modules we have in here. But all you gotta do, just connect the ground to the ground. There you go. You are connected. Now you can receive an emitted IR signal. Whoa, see from behind the scenes here. This is how you config the pins correctly. If you go to IR, go to config, and you go here to the pins, IR TX pin, you go to default, and which is the main IR module sender right here, which is really strong. You want to keep it on here. And then you go back to config, and then you go to the RX pin, which is for read, and then you put that on G26, which is the G26 pin for IR read go back to IR and if you go to like per se TV be gone you can see how there's a red light right here they're right there it's for and for red you can go back to the video goodbye so I have a remote right here and we're gonna take a signal from it and then, there you go if you did be captured one signal if you click ok we're gonna save it I want to save it as my device if I go back IR, custom IR, little FS. When you go back to Bruce IR, and then look for that thing. So then now we can just take it off with my device, choose command, button zero, and there you go. Turns it off. That is how you use the IR receiver and also transmit it. So Thank you for watching this video. You can also see these dew point wires that I use to connect all of these modules together. You don't need to get these, but I did. You can take uh, the connector for these. These are called HY2.0-4P. You can buy these online and you can get them split into four. So it's like more better connection within the pins. That's also another option here. Uh, you can find these all on Amazon. You can find these on Amazon. I bought everything here off of Amazon. So guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day.